Hi there friends, this video is going to tell you about a summer reading opportunity through a program called Audiobook Sync. By signing up for this program, you will receive two free audiobooks each week during the summer beginning on April 29th. Before I tell you how to sign up for the program, I'd like to give you a few tips on why audiobooks can be a great choice for your reading. Quality audiobooks not only can help you learn about great stories, they also expand your working vocabulary, teaching things that you don't already know. It models correct word pronunciation, pacing when reading, and the rhythms that stories can take. Listening to audiobooks can also expand your ability to understand and use some of the unfamiliar phrases in the English language, and it uses them in context, helping you understand how to use certain words correctly. Building stamina for reading is important, and listening to audiobooks can uh, build those active listening skills to help practice your ability to stay focused in an auditory way. They're a great alternative for people who struggle with visual literacy. If you find it really difficult to stay focused while reading text on a page, an audiobook can provide you the same experience in a different way. And it can provide privacy regarding your reading choices. When you have your headphones in, people don't know if you're listening to a book or to the latest popular song. All of these are great reasons why signing up for this program might be a good idea to see if listening to audiobooks is something you enjoy. So even though there are a lot of different audiobooks available, in this particular program, you will receive two new titles each week beginning April 29th for a total of 28 new titles over the summer. The titles for each week are linked thematically or culturally and there are a wide variety of cultures, genres, and interests on the schedule for this summer. If listening to 28 audiobooks through the summer sounds daunting, you don't have to worry because once you download it to your shelf in Sora, it is always there. If you don't return it, you will always have it available. So if you don't listen to all the titles throughout the summer, as long as you have downloaded them during the program, they will always be there for you. And once you sign up once, next summer, the same program will be running with new titles and you won't have to sign up again. Our school district has already made Sora available to you and this program is administered through Sora. So that makes it even easier to sign up and have access to the books. The next question is, how do you sign up? For starters, go to the web address that is on the screen. It's audiobook sync.com. On that page, you'll see an area that says register for sync and follow the instructions. There's an email address field for you to type an email address into. Students, you have a couple of options here. If you don't have a personal email address that you want to use, you can use your student ID number at gpisdstu.org. I know you don't get emails actually sent to this email address and you can't check that email address, but for this program, that doesn't matter. This field just needs an email address that is a valid email address in order to sign up. So it's totally okay to use your student ID at gpisdstu.org. So for example, if my student ID was the number 123456, I would enter 123456 at gpisdstu.org. Then click the blue register button. If you have a personal email address and you would like to use that, you are welcome to. Again, you're not going to be getting any email confirmation or anything like that sent to you, so you don't have to. But if you do decide to use a personal email address, get your parents' permission first. Teachers, you are welcome to use a personal email address for this if you want to sign up for the program, or you can use your school email address. Once you click that blue register button, you will get a thank you screen. Because our school already has Sora available to us, you don't need to worry about the setup information that is following that thank you paragraph. Just ignore this and we're gonna go over to your iPad now and make sure you have the Sora app downloaded. Hopefully you already have Sora on your iPad, but if not, you can find it in the self-service app. 
It looks like the little blue spaceman flying through the air, as shown on the screen right now. If you have never logged into Sora before, the first time you open it, you might be prompted to log in. If you have used Sora before, it might take you directly to your dashboard. But in case not, for school selection, you want to select Grand Prairie Independent School District. Then you might be asked to pick Grand Prairie ISD again from a pull-down. If you get a message that says Sora wants to use the SoraApp.com to sign in, go ahead and click Continue. If you are prompted with a screen like this, use the same credentials that you use to log into Content Keeper or Clever or any other district site. Usually the username is your ID number and then the password is your complex birthday password. Those steps should log you into the Sora dashboard. If for some reason that does not work, I suggest you contact your IMS or tech person on campus to get some help. Once you have logged in, click on the home screen in the lower left corner. Then you should see the hamburger or the three horizontal lines in the upper right corner. Click on the hamburger. Clicking on the hamburger will open a menu to the right, the vertical menu on the far right of the screen. Your name and our school district will appear, and then underneath that, you see some options. Click on the green plus sign where the words say, add a library. You'll be prompted to search for a library and search audiobook sync. When the library comes up that matches what's on the screen now, go ahead and click the green words, this is my school. You will be prompted to enter an email address. Use the same email address that you used when you signed up on the Audiobook Sync website. So if you used your student ID at gpisdstu.org, use that one. If you used a personal email address, then use that one. But once you enter that email address, you then will see the Audiosync Library dashboard will come up. The dashboard has 10 titles there already, and beginning on April 29th, two new titles will be added each week for the duration of the summer. You'll need to borrow them out of this library to add them to your bookshelf so that they stay there even after summer is over. Borrowing a book is as easy as clicking on it, which will bring up more information about the audiobook, and then clicking Borrow. That will download it, and you can play it right from there, or you can go ahead and close it, and you'll be able to find it later on your bookshelf. Anytime you click on the hamburger, you'll get the menu list to the right that shows you all of the libraries that you have available through Sora. Navigate through the different libraries by clicking on them. So your next steps are go to audiobooksync.com, register using an email address, go to Sora on your iPad, add the Audiobook Sync library to your library, and you can begin accessing great books. Thanks for listening.